The Armed Forces of the Philippines, AFP, recently conducted a live-fire exercise featuring their latest acquisition, the Atmos, an Israeli-made self-propelled howitzer. This exercise, part of the AFP Joint Exercise Dagat Langat Lupa, AJEX Dagat PA, took place in the coastal town of Burgos, Ilocos Norte, a strategically important location at the northwestern tip of Luzon, near Taiwan. Under the watchful eye of AFP Chief, General Romeo Brauner Jr., the exercise was conducted at Camp Cape Bojeter, marking a key moment in the AFP's efforts to strengthen its defense capabilities. The drills showcased the autonomous truck-mounted howitzer system, ATMOS, a 155mm artillery piece, representing an enhancement of the AFP's artillery arsenal. Delivered to the AFP in 2022, the Atmos is a product of Elbit Systems, an Israeli defense technology giant. The Atmos stands out for its versatility and firepower. It is equipped with a main armament that can vary between several calibers, including 155mm-52, 39, and 45 calibers, as well as the D-30 122mm and M-46 130mm. This flexibility allows it to adapt to various missions and operational environments. The Atmos can store up to 27 projectiles and charges and is capable of firing all types of 155mm NATO-compatible ammunition. Its semi-automatic loading system enhances operational efficiency, allowing a firing range of 30 to 41 kilometers. In terms of secondary armament, the Atmos can be equipped with a remotely operated or ring-mounted weapon station, armed with a 7.62 or 12.7mm machine gun. In terms of design and protection, the Atmos can be mounted on a 6x6 or 8x8 military chassis, with a crew cab at the front and the artillery weapon system at the rear. The vehicle configuration includes a double-door crew cab mounted at the front of the truck chassis, offering standard protection against 7. 62mm caliber small arms fire and artillery shell splinters. In terms of mobility, the Atmos is powered by a V-12 diesel engine developing 315 horsepower at 2,200 rpm, allowing a maximum speed of 80 km per hour and a range of 1,000 km. Its ability to overcome vertical obstacles of 0.6 m, trenches of 0.9 m, and to operate on gradients of 60% and side slopes of 30%, demonstrates its high mobility in the field. The Atmos is also equipped with a computerized fire control system, allowing rapid combat deployment with the capability to fire the first round in less than 30 seconds, and a rate of fire of 6 rounds in less than 110 seconds in a shoot-and-scoot scenario. Alongside the Atmos, the exercises also featured the Soltam M-71, a 155mm 39 caliber towed howitzer, another testament to the Israeli-Philippine military collaboration. Colonel Michael Logico, the spokesperson for this year's exercises, emphasized the importance of these exercises in littoral zones, highlighting the strategic significance of northern Luzon in the nation's defense framework. The exercises simulated a maritime intrusion scenario, testing the AFP's coastal defense readiness. Targets were strategically placed west of Ilocos Norte, challenging the precision and effectiveness of the AFP's new howitzers. The AJEX Dagit PA, running from November 6 to 17, is an exercise integrating the Navy, Air Force, Army, and Special Operations Forces, aimed at improving interoperability across different domains, land, air, and sea. <laughs>